Hello! Welcome to Anime Mystics. I'm Roman, and tonight I am watching Uchi Musume Episode 3. So last episode... Um... Oh god, what was this guy's name? I can't believe I forgot it with as many times as she says it. <laughs> uh... God. Anyway. It's been a little bit since they've, uh... I guess started living together. And she is starting to help out around the... It's not a restaurant. Pub? Um, more. As in she's... As he was off doing some adventuring thing, she was helping out by collecting dishes and helping with uh, bringing refills and stuff like that. Um, and she it looked like she was getting paid with food. So already a violation of child labor laws right there. She's not even getting paid. <laughs> uh, with money. Uh, <laughs> anyway. Um, he comes back and he's a little upset. Because I guess one, he missed all of it. And two, she's getting kind of close to the bar owner. Pub owner, whatever. And uh, he doesn't like that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's not like he cares too much. Like, there are people that he knows, but he's a little jealous. Um, and he was teaching her how to, like, peel the potatoes and do some of the prep work for the food. And uh, he needed to go and buy some ingredient. I forget what it was. Maybe more potatoes. But uh, she asked if she could go. And the dude was, he was, I think he was going to say no, but with the look she gave him, he couldn't. <laughs> so he said, okay, just make sure that you stay with this guy wherever you are. You know, wherever you, you go, you're with him. And she says, okay, and then they go off and she sees, uh, I think he was like a magician and he was doing stuff with rainbows. Because they showed in a flashback that uh, her father was uh, talking about rainbows. And I forget exactly what he said, but it was something really positive. <laughs> and uh, she stopped and let go of the guy's uh, jacket. And he kept walking. And then they, got lo they lost each other. And I guess she ended up on another, in another part of the town. Because... Uh, the kid she found. I mean, they weren't... They weren't trying to bully her. They were actually trying to figure out, you know, where was she from and stuff. But the one kid was being way too aggressive about it. And the other one was trying his best to be like, look, no, you're scaring her, but uh, it wasn't enough. This other girl they know came over and punched him and started helping her out. And they're like, no, we weren't trying to hurt her or anything we were trying to help her and um meanwhile at the bar or pub or whatever you want to call it the guy, the owner tells the tells him that she's lost and he runs out the door to go and look for her and everybody else in the bar goes to look for her i remember they offered some kind of reward if she was found and they brought her to the uh brought her back um but the kids ended up you know they figured out a few things and one that she can use magic because she healed uh there's a kid with some gl with glasses and he had scraped his knee she healed his knee it took a lot out of her but she healed his knee and uh they started taking her back well trying to help her find the the place she was at where she knows everybody and they end up running into one of the guys at the bar. And they're kind of freaked out because uh, earlier they had just said that this place has some uh, pretty scary people. <laughs> um, like it's not the safest area, especially at night. And um, this guy just shows up and they're scared. But he was just there because they found the girl. So he helped them take her to the bar. They were just going to leave. They're going like, okay, she knows him. 
we can go now, but he insisted that they come with him to the bar because they're the ones that actually found her, so they got the reward. And, uh... They said that they would play with her again. So she made some friends. I think there was three or three of them. It was three of them. She made some friends. And then when they left, the guy that found them walked them back to their their homes because, again, it's not a safe area and it's dark out now, so he took them home to make sure they got there safely. And then the uh, dude shows up <laughs> and there she is in the bar she's waiting for him and she's super sad because she was scared and she was sorry that she didn't keep a promise and stay with the guy and he was like you know it's fine you know you you're back you're okay just you know don't let it happen again basically because he was freaking out um so yeah yeah <laughs> It's a really cute series. So let's get into this and see what's going to happen. Alright, so the video is going to be located over here. And the link to the reaction is going to be in the description down below. And we're going to start this episode in 3, 2, 1. 